Hello, everyone, in Facebook land and out there in YouTube land. I'm back. <laughs> Madam is back, and it feels really, really good. And so, tonight, I'd love to chat with you. Um, or if you have questions, please feel free to ask. I'm doing readings. So, if you have uh, some burning questions for the universe that I can maybe help you answer, step on in, get a reading, and uh, and visit with Madam. I'm just so excited to be back here again. Um, it couldn't be better, and uh, people are already filtering in. That's awesome. <laughs> so, you know, drop a line, say hello, and um, ask some questions. It is Ask Madam. And uh, I'm back in chiropractic again, by God. And so Joanne, Joanne's here. And I'm so I couldn't be more excited. So um, anyway, if you have any uh, questions regarding health or chiropractic, hey, Mort's here. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm so excited um, to be back and have you guys here. So anyway, um, hey, Tom McNichols is here. Hello, Tom. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I, I'm trying to get back to, you know, just my, my, I'd say fighting weight, you know, <laughs> but, uh, uh, it's tough. And so, but, uh, I, I'm, you know, trying to hang in there. I dyed my hair again. So still purple, <laughs> of course, if it wasn't purple, it'd be gray. So who, who would like that? <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, I'm starting a new job tomorrow. Oh, Joanne, I'm sorry to hear that. You know, I've been working on my own health a lot lately. And so, hey, Debbie, um, nice to see you. And so I've been working on my own health a lot. And so I just want to um, say to everyone that you really, really can um, influence your your own health. You know, um, like at night, I envision my cells all, you know, transforming and working as a team and um, multiplying in a good way. And I envision myself, um, my body uh, in a healthy state and that any, you know, ailments I have, any shortcomings are being healed right now as I speak. Um, it's not like it's gonna happen, it's happening. And I think that's an important thing with visualization. You really, uh, and, and manifesting, you have to act like it's happened already. Like it's happening now, it already happened. I just have to catch my physical mind up with it, you know? And I think that's essential when you're manifesting and making things happen. So, um, you know, just, in, you know, when you do visualization, visualize yourself as healthy and strong and able to overcome the things that are coming at you from the environment. You know, a lot of what's wrong with us is environmental stuff, you know, uh, environmental toxins and uh, the things that we've been taking from MDs, frankly. Um, I don't use anything from MDs. I've been... Um, working completely on my own natural herbalistic stuff. And um, like my feet were really, really sore. So I put them in uh, lavender. Uh, I put a few drops of lavender, a few drops of rosemary and some Epsom salt. And I've been soaking my feet every night and I swear to God, they're better. So, you know, <laughs> you really just have to uh, take the time to care for yourself you have to envision yourself as being healthy and you have to uh, really just um, invest in the things that you know are good for you. You know, um, instead of eating that crap, you know, from the fast food place, you have to, um, you know, take the time to make your own food. Um, do meal planning and plan ahead for things. Have a salad instead of, you know, just uh, crap. And, uh, you know, minimize the stuff that you get from the MD. Swear, swear to God, you know, if they got you on 15 medications, start asking some questions. Um, and, uh, oh, cramping in your legs after you wake up. 
Could be dehydration, Mort. Maybe you're getting dehydrated while you sleep. Try having some water before you go to bed and just see if it helps. Um, dehydration can play a major part in uh, how you feel. Hey, Irene. Oh, my God. It's been forever since I've talked to you. How are you doing? <laughs> Irene's all the way over in Japan. So, yeah, that's totally cool. Good morning, she says. <laughs> well, it's nighttime here, but good morning. <laughs> Guten Morgen. Um, yes, we celebrated Yule as well. I was going to show you a picture of um, of what I had on. No, yeah, it was here. Someone took this picture of me. <laughs> well, there we go. Let's see if I can get back far enough that you can see it. Not too well. I'd have to do a, like a little, I'd have to do a little thing on it. So, oh, there we go. Okay. That's kind of what I look like right there. <laughs> For the um, Krampus celebrations um, that we did here. And so uh, that was great. And uh, the people that, were there were just awesome they um we all got in the spirit and we all dressed up and stuff and um you know and different it was it was more like um medieval and um and uh european type christmas legends you know um well you know and christmas technically is a christian holiday but uh you know I know, super cute, right? That mask was ex just awesome. I think it was made in the Netherlands, I want to say. And it was made from a solid piece of wood. And it was just incredibly detailed in the carving and stuff. I felt very honored that that Charles would allow me to wear that because um, I'm sure it was very expensive as well. <laughs> but it was it was neat. It was a, a it was great. And I was perched up. Perched up was a witch. And if you didn't, uh, you know, get your house cleaning done and you weren't a model citizen, Perchta would come by and disembowel you, put sticks and stones inside of your uh, body and then sew it back up again. And or she would take your children and throw them up in the air and kill them. Or she would feed your children to her wolves. Um, and she just was uh, kind of... Um, you know, badass, like, <laughs> don't piss off Perchta. <laughs> and I tell people that all the time, you know, don't piss off witches. It's just not a good idea. <laughs> and and I, I stick by that one. So anyway, is there um, is there anybody out there that would care for a reading? Um, I can get a little um, reading going on here if anybody's interested. But yeah, here in America, we're celebrating Christmas, but uh, really, you know, we pagans around the area. I know, right? Sounds like the, yeah, the little red riding hood and the big bad wolf kind of. Um, it kind of does. <laughs> so Irene would like a reading. Well, let's get some cards out here and I'll try to do it. It's a bit dark, but I got my phone so I can um, have a bit of light to do this. But um. Yeah, speaking of light, my, my life has just really started coming out really good. But I, it's not something that I haven't been working on for some time, you know. Manifestation doesn't always happen overnight. Sometimes it happens. It just happens in divine time. Everything happens in divine time. And <coughs> in the meantime, sometimes we get a little bit... Um, Oh, you're Mort's neighbor. Hello. I'm so glad you joined us. Let me put your, uh, let me put you on the screen here. That's so great. That's so great. Thanks for coming to join us. We always like to have fun here. So, but um, yeah, Mort's a great person and he's, uh, and he's available, ladies. I'm <laughs> just saying. <laughs> All right. So anyway, um, but uh, yeah, things happen in divine time. I've been working on manifesting this job and this life and staying here in Alabama um, for months now, um, six months or more. 
you know, I've been working on this and trying to make things come together and it's been tough, you know, because you want everything to happen now. <laughs> you want it to happen now and it doesn't always happen now. And sometimes you really just, I think um, a, the test is to hold on even when things don't seem like they're going to happen. You have to keep hanging on because things will happen in divine time. <laughs> it's like you're not going to force things. You're not going to, you know, and it's when you give up, you know, when you stop, when you lose sight of the dream, when you say this is impossible, it's never going to happen. That's when things, uh, that's when, you know, you won't succeed. You'll lose sight of it. You'll stop trying. You'll stop focusing on it. And then it won't happen. And sometimes it's hard, really hard. A tall, bald man with tattooed arms that will cherish the ground I walk on. Well, you know, <coughs> Joanne, um, if that's what you want in your life, take steps towards making it happen you know um you can uh you can say that to the universe which you did that's great you stuck it out there so if that tall bald man is watching <laughs> um joanne is a great person that you should definitely want to meet <laughs> hey julianne is here nice how you doing um we were talking about divine time and how sometimes it's just terribly hard to wait through some of these times when it's like, it seems like it's never going to happen. Um, or that maybe you've um, set your sights on something that is just not attainable. But let me tell you, that's not true. <laughs> it's not true. You can attain, you can achieve anything that you want. And I know some of you think I'm full of shit, but you know what? <laughs> it's true. Because there are things that I thought I could never do. I mean, never. If you'd have told me when I was 20 that I could achieve all this, I'd have said you were crazy, you know? And I think we don't give ourselves enough credit for how great we really are, you know? I think women in general, and even some men, I know Mort. Mort doesn't appreciate himself for all the things that he is. And um, I think we undervalue ourselves. And so when good things are not happening, we think to ourselves, well, I guess that's what I deserve, <laughs> you know, and that's not true at all. Um, we all deserve the best things in life. And, um, and I don't mean that monetarily. I just mean that emotionally, you know, and spiritually that uh, we deserve to be loved. We deserve to um, have freedom of thought and of, of uh, you know, just everything. Um, we deserve all that good stuff <laughs> and we don't want to sell ourselves short. So yes, I think so. And then I think too, when we don't give ourselves enough credit, then we, we settle for less than what we were really worth, you know? Um, and I, I hate to see that um, because there's so many people out there just settling because they think that's all there is, you know, or they didn't give it enough time and they settled for what they thought was okay, you know, but really they should have held out, you know, and just in their heart known in divine time, the thing that's really right for me. And another thing too, don't ever put something in place waiting to fill it with something else. So if you think, well, they're good enough for now, you know, I'll just, I'll just keep them for now because, you know, they fill that slot. Don't leave that slot empty because if it's empty, something better will come along to fill it. And that's true. So, all right, Irene, I got cards for you. Yes, sometimes the process is the lesson. Yeah, that's true. And uh, um, sometimes it's a lesson in patience and sometimes it's a lesson in, in determination or uh, just, you know, maybe sometimes you have to work on your inner self. So that when it comes, you're ready for it and you can handle it, you know. All right, Irene, I got Queen of Swords. I got the Knight of Cups and I got the 
two of cups. So how's your love life? <laughs> Everything going okay there? Let's see. Queen of Swords. Um, let's see here. So the queen, uh, let me get, get it. Queen can represent an actual person that embodies, uh, or it could be you, uh, energetic presence of intellect and wisdom, particularly as it relates to decision making. The card asks you to approach complex situations by formulating a logical response instead of an emotional reaction. Use your intuition to guide you toward who or what this card represents in your own life. Um, let's see. Seek advice from a trusted colleague or someone in your industry and make sure you're taking a logical approach to your finances and goals. If an investor or contract presents itself to you, read the fine print. Always a good idea. <laughs> read the fine print. So stand up for your beliefs and don't shy away from sharing your wisdom with others. Focus on using logic and reason rather than relying on emotional expression. So that would be your recent past. And then uh, Knight of Cups. Here he comes. He's uh, charging ahead. Well, maybe not charging, but he's riding ahead. All righty. So, um, so right now, consider the motivation behind gestures, including your actions. Are you doing something purely for recognition and attention, or is it easy to get swept up in emotional experience, such as idealizing someone or something? Slowing down will allow you to see the person or situation more clearly and enjoy the process as it unfolds. New projects or challenging assignments get you excited for your work again. If you're feeling stagnant, open your mind to the inspiration you need to make work more enjoyable for you. Good news is on the way that will help you feel optimistic regarding your health. You may have uncovered a new source of inspiration on your spiritual path. Um, so then uh, let's see two of cups is your past and that would or your future i mean uh in the future the partnership uh let's see whatever uh let's see you're looking at uh shared feelings and a mutual attraction whatever form this relationship takes there's nurturing energy present in a dynamic of equal give and take that's good and you should experience equal give and take in work and deepening your spiritual practice or uh, diving into a hobby will lead to new connections based on mutual interest. So there you go. That's not too bad. Hey, Anthony Lewis. All right. Anthony, you know, just because I see you there and I'm going to, um, I can relate to your question. I'm going to just draw for you. And we're just going to kind of draw a yes or no. Because that was kind of a yes or no question that you have there. It's, um, here we go. Here's, it says, uh, do, you, do I see him getting a job in the new year? Uh, before the new year? Or, okay, before the new year. So yet this month. So then the next couple of weeks. Well, Anthony, have you been putting applications out and stuff like that, Anthony? Have you been uh, actively pursuing any particular job? Something like that. <laughs> oh, a lousy past. Well, you know, it's, it's all in what you make of of it it's because a lot of it is just what you take away you know what did you learn from it you, you know it might have been lousy but if it was a good you know if it taught you some important lessons i think then it's worth it okay so here anthony let's see i'm going to get in tune with my cards and i'm going to choose this one for you it is the ten of ten of wands. So let's see. Looks like it's an uphill battle for you a bit, and that you're you're kind of you've kind of been in a struggle. Let's see. I'll choose this one to look in. It is. Yeah, it's the 10. 
Um, the answer is no. So associated with feeling an intense pressure and being overburdened, uh, other possible things suggest that feelings of being trapped, oppressed, or having no control over your circumstances. So the overall tone is negative and it would be no. So here's what I would share with you on that is um, go into the job search thinking, you know, it, as long as it's something that's in your wheelhouse, I got this. If I want this job, it's mine. All I have to do is my due diligence, you know, meaning I have to apply for it. <laughs> I have to show up at the interviews. I have to, you know, be present. I have to, um, you know, have my resume all looking decent and stuff. And, uh, and then if I want it, it will be mine. So I really um, feel like it, it's, it's, a it's tough out there. There's a lot of people, you know, in the job market looking for jobs and stuff. And, uh, and so I really want, you know, don't go into it with a tone of desperation because it's, people pick up on that and it just is never good. Um, and just um, try to have some confidence in yourself. Uh, because confidence is, you know, an attractant to other things and other people. Um, even when you're not feeling it, try and put it on anyway. Because <laughs> I think that's part of it is um, when you go in there with that air of confidence, they think, oh, well, we want a part of that, you know. We want that to work for us. And so um, I think you kind of have to go in with that act attitude. And every time I have gone in with the attitude of this is mine, if I want it, let's see what they can do to make me want that, you know, <laughs> to make me want to work for them. And every time I went in with that attitude, it worked out good for me. So um, try that and see what happens. Uh, apply for a lot of stuff. I mean, if you think you can do it, I mean, especially if you really, really need to work. Um, I needed to work, but I was determined that I was going to work in my field. And because um, I had been out for a few years and um, but I wanted to get back into helping people and I didn't want to settle for just doing any job. I wanted a particular job and I went into it with the attitude of um, I'm good enough. I'm smart enough. And doggone it, people like me. <laughs> and it worked. So um, tomorrow I start my new job. It's um, not starting exactly the way I wanted it to or I had envisioned, but uh, it's okay. My foot's in the door and I'll do great things for the organization. And I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up more or less. So it's okay. I'm totally down with it. And, um, you know, I think when you're in any business, you should, if you intend to someday, you know, be the queen of all, <laughs> you should know how everything works. So um, thank you, Julie. <laughs> I'm totally excited about, about it. And uh, so, yeah, I, I'm, you know, getting back into podcasting, working in my chosen field and things are looking up. So, um, you know, I have a few friends down here now and everything is really coming together. So all the things that I planned that I was manifesting are starting to really happen. <laughs> so thank you, Debbie. Yeah, it's um, it's been a long road. And there were times when I just sat and cried because I thought, how am I ever going to make this happen? <laughs> but you do. You do. Because you, know, you can. It's within all of you to have your the life you dream you can make it real. And I'm not even kidding. <laughs> um, Debbie, I feel like I need to say something. Oh, thank you very much, Lisa. It says congratulations from the UK. Do you have a question, Debbie, or something that's been like on your mind? Um. Or I can just do a general reading for you. Yes. Okay. What uh, uh, 
what is your what is your query <laughs> okay all right so i'm gonna give you uh the three card here and um i'm gonna cut these and i cut them again there we go okay so this is past Oh, well, that's weird. Okay, present and future. So then what we got here is uh, Queen of Cups is your past. And I, uh, let's see here. No, it was the Queen of Swords we had before, wasn't it? Yeah. This is, oh, that's Pentacles. There we go. Come on, Cups. There we go. Come on, Cups. Oh, come on. Okay. So, uh, it can represent an actual person or someone who embodies the characteristics. Uh, it could be you. Uh, it symbolizes the energy presence of intense emotion. Ask yourself, is there someone who's been influencing your emotion? Have your own emotions been trying to tell you something? When uh, you look within, what messages do you receive about nurturing yourself? Um, let's see. Don't be afraid of vulnerability. Uh, it also, uh, let's see, using your intuition in the workplace reveals new opportunities. Be open and receptive to creative inspiration that's coming your way. But this was in the recent past. Um, focus on developing intuitive abilities. Activities like dream analysis and journaling can, uh, about messages you receive in dreams can help you become more in tune with your inner self. Spend as much time as you can with people who inspire and, uh, you and embrace activities that allow you to be more creative. And I can't tell you how important that is to um, surround yourself with people who inspire you. Um, let's see. And then this one reversed. Um, I think he's right at the beginning here. It's the fool. And it's um so this is your present can signal that it's not the right time to take a risk or jump into something it may mean that you're being challenged by your fear of change or experiencing hesitation to step out of your comfort zone there's a naivete with this card so it may mean um to move forward later on once you have a solid plan that's always a good idea you can make a plan and then make a move I know from experience on that one. <laughs> so then, uh, let's see. Page of Wands is your last card. And that would say to me that he's grounded yet playful. Someone who seeks the world through a lens of curiosity. Good news. Possibly through email, text, or phone call or direct conversation is coming your way. Be open to creative experiences, new opportunities, and expressing yourself in ways that feel fresh and dynamic. And then a job offer is coming that will excite you and reignite your passion for what you do. You've been uh, feeling busy and needing to prioritize tasks, so implement time management practices and make sure you can deliver on promises. Exciting time of new beginnings is on the way, but it'll require a grounded approach. Try not to overcommit yourself. Take a pause before responding and make sure you have the time and energy to follow through on your agreements. Get in touch with your inner child by revisiting the activities you loved when you were young. That's very good. Um, I've been doing that um, myself. And I bought a bubble machine and, you know, just... Uh, you know, doing stuff like that, that makes you feel good. Um, just playing, you know, and uh, hanging out with some kids. <laughs> Roller skating, yeah. Yep, for sure. Anything that you uh, you love to do, you know. But, uh, um, yes, yeah, so if you'd like to share my show, that would be awesome. <laughs> um, I don't think I have a link on here, but uh, you can catch me at the Skeleton Key Network. Uh, you can, I'm on Things tonight. Hey, Things, everybody. I'm back <laughs> for Mondays. And uh, so I'm glad to uh, be here. So I got to keep an eye on the time because uh, I do have to get off at a certain time because <laughs> uh, there are people. Yay. Thank you, Debbie, for sharing the show. So then, uh, let's see, Lisa Perkins, Lisa, I noticed that you were open to that. So, 
So let's see what we have for Lisa. Did you have any questions, Lisa? Uh, Things Network family on Wednesdays and Saturdays. All right. Debbie's on Wednesdays and Saturdays on Things Network. What time, Debbie, do you run on things on Wednesdays and Saturdays? Um, I am on the Skeleton Key Network um, and also my YouTube channel on Wednesdays late at night for Madam After Dark. And we talk about all kinds of stuff there. Okay. Just pick. Okay. Well, let's see. Ask me a yes or no question. I feel like there's something. Saturday I'm at 10 p.m. Okay. Um, first Wednesday of the month. Okay. 6 p.m. first Wednesday at Okay, so you don't, are you sure you don't have a question, Lisa? I feel like you do. I feel like there's something in your life that is going on that you kind of would like to have an answer to. But I mean, I'm just, I'm just guessing. You know what? I'm going to. I'm going to just, uh, I'll be back to you, Debbie, but I'm going to go to Julie real quick. I just feel like I need to. So I'm going to go with it. <laughs> um, I feel like these are, these are Julie's cards. I don't know why. We'll see if it makes any sense to anybody. <laughs> so, um, all right. We'll see how much sense this makes to, to, to Julie. Let's see. Um, whoops, I just passed that by. Um, have you recently been having trouble making a decision? Um, you feel like fear of making the wrong choice will paralyze you, keeping back in holding pattern, reaching out and asking for advice and support help ease your mind, but ultimately listening to your own uh, intuition and taking action on your own will. So I, I think that's um, your recent past. And then uh, five, eight of wands. Let's see here. The wands. Yeah, it's that one. Uh, this, this is uh, going on now. Um, delays or hangups, which can put a damper on your enthusiasm about something you've been anticipating. These delays are no accident. They're divinely timed to highlight an important realization something you need to recognize before you can continue down your current path. Perhaps this lack of movement is reminding you to enjoy the process without being focused on the outcome. That's good advice too. Have been trapped and now free. Good. Okay, good. And then, so then your future is, uh, let's see, that's going to be nine of cups. Nine of cups. Which isn't a bad card. Um, let's see. May reveal arrogant surrounding achievements and needing constant validation and recognition can also point to overindulging in life's pleasures, needing to implement moderation. When you consider the abundance in your life, celebrate it by exp expressing gratitude and generosity. Well, there you go. So I don't know how close that is to anything you got going on, but I just felt like those needed to come out for you. So it's just the universe. <laughs> so, okay. Now we're coming back to Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. Yes. Things has a schedule. I hope I'm still on their schedule. <laughs> I've been away for a while. So, um, so I think I, I still am. So, okay. So Lisa and then, um, Iris, Iris, I think you asked me for uh, reading as well. Did you have a question or anything that you're um, trying to uh, trying to uh, answer or you know make a decision upon? Um, but here we go with uh, Lisa. Okay, good, good. Well, I'm glad that I'm glad that hits home for you then. And that really was something then that I needed to relay to you. So awesome. I always love it when that happens. 
<laughs> so, because that's why I'm here. I'm here to help people. I'm here to share what I have or what I know or what I can do with the, uh, all of you. Because um, I just, um, you know, if, if there's some way I can help people, I'm always glad to do so. Um, it, I mean, my profession, I help people every day, you know. So I just, um, I'm just a... Uh, I'm a people pleaser. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Lisa, I mean, uh, we're doing Debbie now. Debbie Romero, you're getting these cards right here. Yeah, I think that's. No, it was. It was Lisa. Sorry, let me just shuffle these again. Thinking about Lisa Perkins. Lisa Perkins. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm going to cut them here. And I cut them there. Now I can, now I feel like good about these as Lisa cards. All right. So there's that, that, and that. And let me go down to the bottom of the page here. Uh, just, okay, just, okay, Lisa. Yeah, I'm, these are Lisa's cards right now. I got this. So... Yeah, we haven't done this for a while, so it just is going to take me a minute. <laughs> um, let's see. It is the three of wands. That is your past. Like recent past. And here we go. No, come on there. There we go. So, it says, indicates that you're using your energy to work with others, delegating and sharing responsibilities that play to your strengths. Maybe an element waiting for the right opportunity to come to you. But in the meantime, you're able to use your energy creatively and productively, allowing expanded prosperity to grow with the possibility of traveling. Um, signifying traveling for work. So, um, and then... Uh, so basically the overall thing on this card is traveling. So, <laughs> um, and then temperance. Temperance reversed. Nope. Let's see, go back. No, I'm having a hard time finding finding it. Here we go. Um, it's uh, indicate you're trying too hard or focusing a situ on a situation instead of relaxing and allowing it to unfold in divine time. <laughs> it can also indicate that some form of moderation is needed or in order to reestablish alignment with your highest path. The divine is counseling you to find a balance in, and avoid extreme situations and behavior. Um, Page of Swords. See, as I said, sometimes divine timing is uh, so that you can work on the things that you need to do so that when it comes around to you, you're ready for it, you know? Um, let's see. Represents insidious gossip or manipulation tactics perpetrated either by you or someone around you. Bear in mind that the information you share with others may not be kept private. And notice how you feel when you're around people who are gossiping or talking about someone who isn't present. And that is your future. So try and avoid gossip. And, um, you know, when it's your business, make sure you keep it your business. Because... <laughs> um, you know, it's uh, when you share things with people, you don't know who they're going to share that with or, you know, who they're going to talk to or, um, you know, they uh, they don't have a gag order on them. <laughs> so, you know, they could share 
that with just about anybody really and so then you know if you don't want to yeah if you don't want to be the the center of gossip or you know frankly i say don't listen to it you know i just don't even buy into that whole gossip bullshit you know um people will say whatever they want to say and but that doesn't mean you have to listen to them and um form your own opinion of yourself and then don't let them you know don't let them shake your confidence or you know take anything away because frankly most of them say things out of jealousy and uh you know hate haters gotta hate <laughs> so i don't worry too much about people what they have to say about me because um you're not gonna please everybody all the time some people are never going to like you ever <laughs> and it's okay you know because really all that's important is what's inside of here and if you feel like you like yourself and you're good you know you're doing good you're you're um you know doing the things that that make life worth living then don't let them don't let them shake your confidence they their opinion isn't important they're not paying your bills they're not uh doing anything you know in particular that uh would you know give you a bad life so and um you know that stuff tends to shake itself out with karma people who aren't generous and who um will gossip about you and who will be cruel um have bad karma hanging on their head i'm sure because um that's just not cool you know everybody has their own struggle and everybody uh, gets over that struggle in their own way and you know you can't um you can't judge people harshly because frankly that might be you someday you don't know that you don't know what fate will bring your way you know and and the same thing they're struggling with might be the thing that you're struggling with next year so be generous to people and um be uh of goodwill and uh don't judge people uh harshly and don't judge at all really because we don't know what their life is like and we don't know the struggles they've had to go through to get where they are today so just uh be kind to one another and i think that's a good place for me to leave off today is just by saying be kind to one another and be generous to one another and um you know it's christmas time um just if you have a spare blanket give it to someone that if you know they need one you know that kind of thing take them a turkey sandwich because you know they they don't have a family with turkey anyway <laughs> <laughs> I wish all of you the best, and uh, I'll see you on Wednesday night for, uh, oh, well, hopefully, you know, technology allowing. <laughs> I'll be back on Wednesday night to uh, for another edition of Madam After Dark. Put the kids in bed and come on over. <laughs> so, but until then, you guys have a great week, and blessed be. And I'm out of here. <laughs>